Okay, so here I have another unit rate problem. Uh, kind of discussing what uh, food option should I buy based on uh, these prices. So, again, it's just like a typical food company to kind of uh, put you in a pinch where like, oh, rather than just giving us the same price per uh, gram or kilogram, we give it to you in different rates and things like that. So we have to do all the work to find out which one is the best buy. So we're talking about money. Typically, we like to save money, so we want to try to find the cheapest price possible. So the question asks us, which brand should he buy to get the best deal? So first thing we're going to do, look at my massive rice per package. Brand A is in 500 grams, brand B is 5 kilograms, and brand C is 10 kilograms. So notice how B and C are kilograms, but A is in grams. So let's go ahead and convert that real quick. And there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So this is actually half a kilogram. So I'm going to put, instead of 500 grams, I'm going to write 0.5 kilograms. So let's start with brand A. So normally we have, we have a price and we have kilograms. So price always goes on top. Typically when we have money involved, money is all powerful. And so that's why we're going to put it on top. So I have a dollar and 20 cents over 0.5 kg, meaning it's a dollar and 20 cents per half kilogram. But I want to know how much it costs. Let's find the unit rate, so per kilogram. So in order to get from 0.5 to 1, we multiply by 2, or again, we divide by 0.5, and we're going to get $2.40 per 1 kilogram. And the question asks us, the school cafeteria manager wants to buy 30 kilograms. So how do we get from 1 to 30? Well, we multiply by 30 on both bottom and on the top, and we're going to get $72 for 30 kilograms of rice. All right, let's go to B. So again, the reason why we're finding unit rates, the idea is we want to find a rate, uh, we want to find a unit that we can compare all the brands to. Because we look at it, I'm like, okay, well, obviously brand C is more expensive and brand A is least expensive, but we only get 0.5 kilograms on brand A, or we get 10 kilograms in brand C. So we have to level the playing field. We have to have some sort of data that compares all these things. So that's what we're doing. We're finding all the unit rates. Now, for brand B, I know that $9.80 gets me 5 kilograms. But look at this. Normally, we would go to the unit rate to find, okay, let's go to 1 first. But look at this. Is 5, we, eventually we want to buy 5 kilograms, right? That's our goal. We want to buy 30 kilograms. But we have 5. So is, if 5, or the kilograms we have, is a multiple of what we want, meaning 30, can't I just go ahead and start doing it right now? I know I want 30, and if we multiply both top and bottom by 6, won't I get 30 on the bottom, and then we find out what we get on the top? So unit rate is important if like, we, need, we have some rate, and then we want to find some random number, like if I wanted 37 kilograms, then that's kind of weird, and we would do it. The, find the unit rate first, then find what we want for 37. But because 30 is such a nice number, and 5 is a factor of 30, we can just start by finding what we want right now. So 6 times 980 is going to give me $58.80 for 30 kilograms. Let's take a look at brand C. I think we're going to run into the same situation where we don't have to find the unit rate because I already have 10 kilograms, and 10 is a multiple of 30. So to get the 30 kilograms, I just need to multiply both top and bottom of my rate by 3. And 3 times 1890 is going to be 5670. So look at all my prices. $72 for 30 kilograms, $58 for 30 kilograms, and $56 for 30 kilograms. Again, we're talking about the best deal, and we're talking about money, which means price is important, and we want the cheapest. So the cheapest one is brand C in this option.